We also have an update to our Eyewitness News investigation concerning a former state police captain and the alleged theft of hundreds of dollars from the Mardi Gras casino. We've seen the casino surveillance video of the incident. Now, through a Freedom of Information Act request, we have the security report. Eyewitness News lead investigative reporter Kenny Bass joins us live in the studio tonight with all the details. Kenny? Well, this is one of the key events which led to the forced resignation of former West Virginia State Police Com Commandant Jan Cahill. Cahill's response, or lack of one, triggered his departure because if he hadn't stepped down on his own, Governor Jim Justice says he would have fired him. We've seen the images, now we know the exact response. According to a Mardi Gras Casino security report, on May 29th, 2021, at approximately 11.20 in the morning, a male patron said he'd lost an envelope containing $500. That triggered a review of security cameras in the area of machine number 3602-10. That's when it was found that a man in a hat, dark shirt, and blue jeans had picked up the envelope. A further investigation of the video sequence revealed that the man and his female companion, identified as his wife, had already left the property. Surveillance managed to get the description and plate number for the vehicle the man drove off in, a white Ford F-350 with West Virginia plates and towing an Arctic Fox camper. That man was identified as a captain in the West Virginia State Police. Basically, any way you cut it, that money was stolen. And then, as far as us doing a quick investigation and getting right on to what we should get on to, we didn't do that. Investigating the matter, a West Virginia police sergeant contacted the captain and was able to recover the envelope, which was stuffed with $731 in cash. The sergeant contacted the casino about the recovery and had the money back at the facility by 2.22 that afternoon. A state police receipt recorded the handover of the cash and the money was placed in a safe. The next day on May 30th, 2021, the customer had reported the missing money was back in the casino by 11 a.m. to claim his property. And my advice was if by the time the sun goes down today, these two individuals would not be state troopers anymore. Uh, I then left the decision making though to him as the agency head. Cahill ignored Abraham's advice and allowed the captain to retire with 29 years of service. There was no investigation. The sergeant who recovered the money was cleared by an internal agency investigation under Cahill's watch. However, a new probe is looking into the situation, focusing on the sergeant's failure to report the incident up the chain of command. Now, Eyewitness News is working to confirm several other pieces of this investigation. That includes more Freedom of Information Act requests to see related documents. As we learn more, of course, we'll update you. Reporting live in the studio with this Eyewitness News Investigates update, I'm Kenny Bass.